We both work for Enphase Energy, and we're here today to talk about some of the frequently asked questions that homeowners often have when they first start looking into getting solar and maybe battery storage. I have a personal question for you. I have a house and it's surrounded by redwood trees. Can you talk a little bit about the impact of trees and foliage on a solar installation? Well, having some trees around your house is not gonna necessarily be a deal breaker with today's technology. There are a few things that you can do. First, by using a technology like microinverters, that's gonna really benefit the system. With microinverters, you have one little inverter for each solar panel in the system, and that allows them to basically operate independently. What that means is if there's some shade on one panel, it doesn't affect the other panels in the system. With other technologies, a little bit of shade can have a much larger impact in terms of reducing the power output. The first step is to use microinverters for your installation. The next step is to have the solar professional that you're working with do a good analysis of your situation. And they can do this with some modern tools that we have with measure the shade, measure the amount of impact that the shade is gonna have on the actual production of energy of your system. And then you can compare that to the cost of the project and see if the return on investment is still attractive. You know, in many parts of the country, the return on investment for solar is mind bogglingly good if things are ideal. If things aren't ideal, it's still really good. <laughs> so having some shade does not mean that it's a bad investment. So it could be a great investment for you. Good to know. If you didn't get your question answered today, please email us at questions at We'll try to get to it next time.